guys welcome back to our channel it's exploring with india and today you guys we got some more episodes to react to you guys this one is riverdale you guys season one episode one you guys mystery crime um and i do believe musical well i would call it musical but it says crime drama mystery but you guys let me know how you guys feel about season one episode one i think they're on season four right now you guys so let's get straight into it um get this to at least 10 likes you guys at least Our story is about a town, a small town, and the people who live in the town. Decent. Of our town is Riverdale, with what the Blossom Twins did this summer. Are you scared, Jason? Boy Scout troop on a bird watching expedition came upon Cheryl by the river's edge. Okay. Buried an empty casket, and Jason's death was ruled an accident and panicked. always Miss Hermione it's a pleasure miss hi menus ma'am so you can order in oh no burgers I can't get a tip box wasn't me saying out loud why Kevin hasn't he ever said or done anything what for you to take that ginger bull by the horns tonight or at the end of the night Tony Morrison who is as you to me don't rush this time, buddy. Wow. All day long. To pass time, I would start composing these poems in my... What, Archie? Amazing! <laughs> Will you ask Miss Grundy to tutor you? Okay. Eh? About us, Archie. But you gotta wait. Dang, she said, I wanna talk about us. Only Archie, Archie looking at the new girl. Eyes is on the new. Eyes is on the new girl. Not even paying attention to her, Tam. That's a Saudi family. Oh. Oh, good. Can we get some onion rings too, please? My mom and I just moved here, so. Wow. Claire. Me too. I'm filled with dread. I'm breakfast. Hey. Hey, maybe we can unfill you with dread. My mom's waiting for me. Nothing. Yeah. She know, said, I don't have nothing to say now. Like, you're obviously not into me that much because you into this new girl and he done looked her up and down and all. Oh, damn. I know she's Saudi. Is that not okay? No, no, it's, uh, it's okay. But it's maintaining a decent character is hugely important. I mean, just think of your poor sister. I was with Archie, who has red hair, yes, but is nothing. Like, stay focused. Elizabeth Cooper. Bro, you are ready for football. I'm not kidding you, dude. You got ribs. Should we stress you? He's from working construction, Reg. Uh, you tap some cougar <laughs> ass this summer. You know what? Riverdale High first opened its stores in 1941. Called the Ho Zone and a tragic game. <laughs> Ho Zone. <laughs> Friday night's football games and then. Adam Keller, Veronica's new here. Kevin is gay. Thank God. Right. Does everyone here know? In the sky, we own the night. This is a closed rehearsal, but let me break it and them down for you. The Pussycats are building a brand in Rockland County's Battle of the Band. That's Sassy. <laughs> I get that. It's just read my glossed lips. <laughs> in that case, mind putting in a word? They're gonna tell us at the assembly. He was and always will be my son. Morning. Jason. A twin at that. Actively. And celebrate my brother's too too short life on this mortal coil. Damn. Mr. Andrews. Uh, can we talk? My office hours, my official office hours. Fred, how are you? What? Surprise. You are looking for a seasonal hire. Someone to help with the books. The rich kid. And now a reversal of fortune. Really? I have a little money saved. It's your company. Well, I have clients. Can I? You. Yeah. 
something you wrote? It's rough. Is something with that? Yeah, that's the plan. Being number one for sure. This year, though, it's all about Cheryl trying to win the Best Supporting Psycho Oscar. Damn, Archie jumped up quick as hell. Soon she start walking towards him. What they got beef for? I'd heard whisperings. I'm Cheryl Blossom. May I sit? I smell of puberty. Captain of the River Vixens. <laughs> Is cheerleading still a thing? Retro. I say it's eternal and iconic. But Betty's already got so much on her plate right now. And being a Vixen is kind <laughs> She of liked the mean person. girls. My other school. Cheryl Bombshell. I'd love to be a cheerleader. At Betty Draper, it was a great line, <laughs> but you should be the Queen Bay of this drab hive. I have moves. Very real. You went to Juilliard, Miss Grundy. There is no one else in Riverdale I can take lessons from. Believe together. If this is, it is about the music. Damn. Afterwards, we didn't do anything. We didn't say anything. Morning. How would we explain yeah. why we were together? Archie, Archie is savage. She over here banging a teacher. She a predator. <laughs> she a predator. It's sweet water river. And out with me. And go. Where's the ladies? Where's the heat? Ooh. Check your sell by date, ladies. Betty. How's your sister doing? Tell Veronica about your sister and my dear brother. Or is yours? Whatever you've been dying to spew about Jason and how he treated Polly. Imagine what you and your family must be going through. Into being a bitch. I need girls. She is so mean to Betty. Spot. In terror and intimidation. You're rich, so you've never been held accountable. Oh. Right. Maybe. You want one, you take us both. Ooh. I like her attitude. <laughs> it's Jason's number. It's yours now. Well, I want you to fill it. Or place you like that. Oh, well, you got something better to do? You know what? Why don't you, uh, why don't you sleep on it? Very Betty Draper season. Why did you defend me? All these trolls started writing horrible things about us. Bitch, bitch, ice princess. I was like Cheryl. I was worse than Cheryl. Mm. To become so her dad basically had to get locked up for her to know who her real friends are and all that. And she said that turned her more humble. Shouldn't have been a bully in the first place. Mm. Maybe, hopefully. It meant everything to her. She said Polly wasn't her daughter anymore. She said all these awful things to her. Archie! You're so doing this. What? Even if it's just a friend. Archikins, we need an escort. Take a break from being a tortured me. Squad. Everything to be perfect. The perfect daughter. Wait, mm -hmm. I'm going. Where are you going to buy a dress? I had a controlling parent. You think so? You think she's going to be your friend? Let me tell you something. Thank you, Smithers. Says the uh, car service found and the. Uh... Damn, they ballers. There's an impression that you can't play varsity football because I'm making you work for me. Who are you lying to? I want to write music. Football takes you to college. The company would be yours. Mm. Three months ago, you, you see, did. parents don't understand. Your kids don't have to follow in your footsteps. They should, they should be allowed to follow their own dreams. Now, of course, you know if they're interested, then yes. But if they're not interested, then follow the dream that they want to go to. This summer, what? <sighs> Dad, I would never force you to play football mm. ever again. But some advice, man to man. You know, these decisions that you're making now, son, they have consequences. Be confident enough in it that you don't have to lie. Be confident 
enough of what you're doing that you don't have to lie to nobody. Hey, when do you have to let Coach Clayton know about football? I'm working on it, Ronnie. What does your heart say? Give you a hint, his name may be Moose, but I described a certain appendage of his as Didn't we have a deal? Hey, he hot. Now, this summer, the only thing that kept me sane was writing these songs. So, deal? Monday, Wednesday. Look at deal. As honorary chairperson and de facto queen of tonight's semi four this one's for you, JJ. Sorry about that. I give you Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah, so I'll study with Miss Gurney before school. Football. She is so happy right now. As a power couple. Mm. She says a power couple. Archie is not on it at all. Going old school tonight. Seven minutes in heaven. Who wants to tryst in the closet of love first? Stallion tonight. I'm not doing this. That's up to you. But if you what? don't, how's died and everything? But Cheryl Blossom truly is the Antichrist. So, uh, do you miss? Do you miss New York? But pass me the definitely. Is that all it is? Just friends. Imagine how Betty is feeling right now. My turn. Could it ever possibly feel with Betty? Have you felt it though? You're a little more dangerous. Hey, than she a girl. flirt. That ain't that ain't right. We shouldn't do this. But we're gonna do this. <laughs> he said yes. Between us, she's a lot more high strung than she looks. But you kissed him. We should probably try to find her. Damn. Hey. Yeah. I'm super tired. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you thought you saw. Alan, that was still open. You found me. Thanks. If you want. As captain of the water polo team, you know what that was? What? Mr. Popular Football God now? Or even like me? Of course I love you, Betty. I've never been good enough for you. He loved her as a friend. Hard pill to swallow when you love some, like somebody more. It was far from over. Obviously not, Moose. You're on the football team. But if Ooh. you were gay, then he over here playing low key. <gasps> His teammates don't know. Damn. Oh. Damn. So they just found Jason's body. Rest in peace. Betty feels some type of way because Archie doesn't like him. New girl in town. I do her name Veronica. Damn, y'all. And what's the Blossom girl's name? Uh Betty's sister's name is Polly. Damn, you guys comment down below how you guys feel about Riverdale season one, episode one. We gonna get the um, episode. We're going to get the episode to you guys. So stay tuned. Get this to at least ten likes, you guys. Subscribe. Let's go.